Okay. Guess I'm a little crooked here by that. So, all right, this is Sonia with Stamping Around the Dining Room Table. I am an independent Stamping Up demonstrator, and if you do not have one of your own, I would be happy to be yours. You can go to my webpage, stampingaroundthetable.stampingup.net, and where you can see um, the products that we have. You can place an order there. You can, um, if you would like to join my team, you can do that there. If you would like um, to have a party, which we call workshops, um, that's also the place where you can sign up for that. Um, if you would like to see more, um, you can go to my Facebook page, which is called Stamping Around the Dining Room Table, and you can see more th things there, and you can um, message me, private message me through that, or leave a comment there, as well as leave a comment here. If you um, have not subscribed to my page, I would appreciate if you would do that, and if you like this, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks so much. Um, it is, when is it? It's almost said May. It's June 2nd, 2021. And I'm saying the date because I just, so that if you are seeing this after June 30th, um, this won't apply. But I just wanted to mention our mini catalog, January to June. Um, it's good to the end of June. They are having, um, right now it's a last chance sale. Some of the things in here are in the annual catalog. Some things are not. Some things are bundled in here and they may not be in the annual catalog. Um, so if there is a bundle that you like, because that saves you 10%, um, it's best to, to get it now. Um, but anyway, there I will put... Um, a link at the in the description so that you can take a look at the things that we that are leaving and some of them have been discounted okay now today I'm going to talk about some things that are in our annual catalog I'm I um get to the right spot here this is the um, stamp set and dies I'm using today for the most part anyway this is called color and contour bundle okay so the color and contour um, stamps and um, it, if you wanted also the dies that come with it the bundle is fifty dollars and twenty five cents which saves you ten percent over buying them individually the stamps are twenty one dollars by themselves and look back here just to be sure I'm telling you the right thing and here's the um, just the dies are um, $35 by themselves. So when you bundle them at $50 and 25 cents, it saves you 10%. Okay. I also have, am using for my card today, uh, some of these dies from the stitch. So sweetly dies. And that's, if you want that, that's $32. So anyway, the other thing I just wanted to point out was oops, the hand pen suite. I'm using paper from the DSP from this. It does have, also have um, a bundle, stamps and dies that go with that. I do not have those. Um, I'm not sure if I am going to get them or not. But if you are interested, if you want everything in the suite, which includes the stamps and the dies and just make sure I'm telling everything here. Oh, and the, um, the designer series paper and... The genial gems, which are here, they're sparkly. They're kind of like a um, pale papaya and um, soft succulent. Two of our in colors for 2021 to 2023. Okay, and um, if you want just the stamps, they are $22. And let me come back here. Hope it's right here. And nope, that's the wrong spot. It's the next page. And if you wanted just the dies, I know they're here. I had them earlier and then, oh, good grief, Charlie Brown, where are they? 159 oh, on this page, <laughs> silly me, right here. Just the dies are um, $30, but if you get the bundle, it's forty six seventy five, which saves you um, 10%. I like really liked 
this I saw some people using these and I really liked that some of the things they did with it so and it does it's like another set that goes with this paper even though it's not part of the suite so if you do get the suite you might want to also consider getting this bundle um, you know, but every, it's, everybody gets to choose what they like or don't like about something. And that's the beauty of it, right? So there's enough of that. This week, things have been a little different for me, um, with the holiday and some family doings and stuff. I'm, was a little out of kilter, so I did not get to do my Facebook live yesterday, but I did it this morning. And here are two of the, the two cards that I well, I made this card on while they were watching. No, I made this card while they were watching. And then um, this was one that I had um, done ahead of time. And this is some of the paper from this set. And I'll just show you quickly. It has um, 12 sheets. And it, actually, it's six designs of flowers on one side. And, a, and um, so here's one. And there's the back. The back is, you know, more plain and more of a neutral. Here's another one. Here's the back of that. The front of the flower side and the more neutral side. This one. And that side. This one. And that side. This one. And that side. Okay. And you get two of each of those. All right. Now, the color and the um, I didn't show you that, but the um, those papers, those the DSP is um, eleven dollars and fifty cents. And then the colors that they recommend using with them: basic black, blushing bride, daffodil delight, mint macaron. Oops, I need to hold it here. Pale Papaya, um, Pool Party, Highland Heather, Garden Green, and Cinnamon Cider. Some of the color, like this one, I think the blue in there reminds me of Misty Moonlight. I didn't really look at it closely, you know, put it up next to see if it is or not. And some of the yellow in here might, it's a little lighter, and you might be able to do some, um, so saffron with that. So as you're doing things with the paper, just, I would just suggest that you look at it. And if you think it will go with one of the other colors, get some of that, um, card stack out and put it next, you know, put the paper next to it, see how you might like it. Okay. So the, um, stamp set here, it has this, it's two step stamping. It's got this. And um, that you stamp that like so the outline and then this is the part that fills in the flowers. All right, there's this individual flower. This fills in the flower. Then they have these extra little leaves that if you're stamping, if you wanted to put it here with that, you could. But if you're going to use the die to cut it out, which I'll show you that here, the die is only going to cut this out. It's not going to cut that out if you add it. So okay, so the dies that come with it. Cut this, so you stamp this, and then you stamp that, and then you cut it out, and then you stamp this, and you stamp that, and you cut it out. Um, if you want to, if you're going to cut it out, and then they also have these um scalloped dies that um that you can see. I actually have three of the sizes here. All right, and um, so that's this one. The, the white there and the yellow here is this one. The This white is this, and the pink is this. So you can see there, it's a pretty good size. This one, um, it's almost big enough for a card front. Okay? So I will be doing some things with that um, on my Facebook Live on Friday when I do, um, when I do my um, fun folds. Okay? So... So, oh, the other thing I did mention in, earlier today is that if you wanted to, like, make this more of a frame, you could use the rectangle, not that one, the rectangles, either this one or probably you'd really want this one, the next one down. And it would, you, you cut the outside and then you can put this in and get it as, you know, which one gives you the thickness you want for your frame and then cut it out. Okay, and so that, that w does go with most of those. This one doesn't have one, but that's, that'd be kind of, it's awful small to try and make that into a frame. 
Okay. And then I just wanted to show you, because I mentioned today, I used these. They're smaller scallops than these. And I, so for the one of the cards I'm going to put together for you today, I um, used this to cut out, to put the sentiment on. All right. So, okay. So if you want to see more about these, if you go to my Facebook page, Stamping Around the Dining Room Table, I did that earlier today and you'll be able to see those. All right. So one of the things I did want to show you was I did have a card class where we tried worked with this a little and oh, I didn't show you. It has this scallop that, that you and I had seen someone do it like on the diagonal. Well, this was the first one I cut and I didn't quite get it quite right. Um, so I obviously have to play around with that a little bit more to try and get that a little better. This one was a little better. Okay. And, um, so I think I might do something with this on Friday, but anyway, and then on the inside, see, we put the purple cause this had white and then we had per we did like a white card base, a purple cards. Like this is the, um, Highland Heather cardstock, and then a piece of the designer series paper. And then on the inside, because I did the white, the white side of the purple, and then another piece of white there. And we stamped that over on this side. So it's out of, you can't see it till you open it in the, and the, um, saying up there, you could, if you wanted stamp something down here, or if you wanted, you could possibly take the other side of this and put it down here also. And I just wanted to show you the difference on the inside. This one, I stamped using the black, our black ink, and um, and then used the Highland Heather on the flower. Here, I used the green and then the black ink. So um, I think that's garden. Oh, it's not garden green. That's old olive there. Okay. And um, they used the um, markers to be able to put the amazing on that. On the amazing, um, they did the the purple and the Highland Heather and on it. You're absolutely, you're absolutely was the um, old olive. And then this beautiful ribbon is also in our annual catalog. Okay, this one has some sequins on it. I don't know how well it shows up on camera. This has some of our <clears throat> basic rhinestone jewels. All right, so for today, I thought, let me try doing the scallop across the bottom. And that's, and I, that's what I did. Um, you today. This is the pale papaya paper. See this color right here is pale papaya and it's got some other colors though so you could do it with some you could use it with green you could use it with um, blushing bride okay um, anyway and this is um, also in our annual catalog this ribbon okay and okay all right and I popped up the white and I put this down and then on the inside, again, I did that, and I did it in the color of the card. But you could have, I could have chosen the pink if I wanted instead, just to be a little different. So, here for you now and in better days ahead. So that could be kind of like a get well card. It could be a sympathy card. It could just be somebody's having a heck of a time. You know, sometimes we just have bad days, and sometimes, you know, we might need just a, um, a pick me up, you know, something to encourage us. Okay. So on this one, I didn't, I could have also scalloped this, this, but I didn't want to, but if you want, that's something you could do, whether the white and have it be down just a little more, you know, this could have been like the front, I could have made it up a little higher and have this be a little, so that this would be shorter here, that it would be shorter there. And then if I scallop this in here, it would to show better. You also could scallop the back of it. You know, I mean, you can scallop as much as you want, obviously. But um, so the difference here is that I just I made the color cardstock be the base. Um, the the one I showed you before that was on the diagonal, I had the white as the base, and you know, and put an, another layer of cardstock in. So you could you could have done I could have done that with this too, but I wanted it to be a little different. Okay, so let me show you. I did cut these out because I didn't want to try and do it on do it on um, when I'm taping because it probably would not have gone well. But what I did, this is I'll just show you what I did to give you an idea. I took 
this and I'm gonna now when you do it the card you got to do it this way this can go that way and and it's a little bit easier to roll it through that way but I I measured where the middle was because this is in the middle okay so I measured where the middle was and I put this just I don't know about a, a not I think about an eighth of an inch up from the bottom okay and then I did the same thing on here I because this is this I cut this a little smaller so this again I marked where the center point was and I put the center there and I put it up about probably about an eighth of an inch from the bottom okay and let me just see here if I can this is was about three and three quarter inches okay and this is actually about four so that was like about a quarter inch. Yeah, it should. It really was started out four and a quarter, I think. But by the time, yeah, it started out four and a quarter, so then it went to to four. So then that would have this one would have been three and that started out four and a quarter. This would have started out four, so now it's three and three quarters. And so anyway, it took off about a. I said an eighth. It's actually obviously more of a quarter inch. Okay, and I just wanted to make sure. And before I actually cut this. I did kind of lay it up here so that it, I could make sure that it looked like it was going to line up properly. Because I have to tell you, even when I measure things, sometimes they don't always line up the way you think they're going to. So it's not hard, but it's fussy. So just take your time if you're doing something like that. All right. And then we have this um, ribbon that this is actually carried over. We've had this for a couple years now. It's it's like olive green on one side supposed to be and then the other side is um, our pretty peacock which retired but even though that's an olive green look it looks because of this color behind it it looks darker and it really goes well with this paper so what I wanted to do what like I did on this one was wrap this around here before I put it down but I just, I might, I think this one I thought I wanted to have up a little higher. So let me just take a look here before I put that on. So this, because I want to, I want to just make sure I can show some of the flowers here at least. Okay, I think I want that about there. So, and then I want this to go about there. So this needs to come down just a smidge. So right about there. I want that right about there. So what I usually do is, before I do anything else, I'm going to use this. Um, it's not our own, but that one, this can, is a little bit easier to, if you need to pick something to like redo it, to move it a little. That one's usually, this is a little bit easier to move it. So since I have it, I'm going to use it. Oops, wait a second. And so then I go back to the front because I want to make sure this looks, it looks about right. And before I really tack it, you know, put that down, I just want to make sure that looks about where I wanted it. And I think that is right. I just want to make sure it's, you know, because I don't want to do all that and then go, oh no, it's in the wrong spot. That looks pretty good to me. So. All right, and it may be off just a little bit. So then I usually put glue on this, and actually I should have moved it over a little more because it's a little shy there. But I'm also going to use just some of this glue to, maybe that's what I can do like that. Oh, I hope you can see this. I'm just realizing I kind of put my camera in a little bit so it was a little bigger because sometimes it seems like it's out too far. All right, so there. Now, I wanted the um, liquid glue so I could move this around a little if I needed to, because I want to try. It's a little more forget. Oh, see, I, something isn't quite right here. Let me see. Try to get it about the same all around. There. Well, I think that's as close as it's going to get. All right, like that. Might be off a little, but hey. All right, and then this, and actually this I can use this on. 
this is going to go on it on either side. It's going to go just about there, I think. So before I put it down, make sure this looks about right. Yeah, I think that's about right. Okay. So, and on here, I'm going to stamp on it. You're amazing. And get my, I just put the case on top there. Set the stamp case down on top of all these that are sitting up like this. Okay. Now I'm using our stamp and pierce mat just so that I have a little bit of a um, cushion underneath. You don't, you can get one of these from our. You can buy one of these. You can use um, a mouse pad. You can use a magazine. Just something so that it gives you a little bit of a cushion under this, and it helps you get a better um, impression than if you do it without one. It's not impossible to do it without it, but it just usually gives you a better impression. And I want this to to dry a little bit here, make sure, because sometimes if you go too fast, it doesn't take long to dry, but sometimes if you go too fast, and like there, the ease a little, it's not the best stamp job there, the ease a little bit darker. So I just want to, so I can see under the light, it looks a little wet still. Okay, so where's my, I usually use my, um, a silicone pad under this because when I put this on, a lot of times I'll go off the edge and I put it over here. You probably can't see it. I forgot I moved the camera in. Um, sometimes I go off the edge and I don't want it on this work surface because then when I put something down on it, oh, and then see, it was still a little wet and it did smear a little bit. So anyway, So on this one, I used these, and on this one, I used, whoops, I tipped, oh, I tipped my thing over. I used these. See, they're still scalloped, but they're a little smaller than those. Okay. All right, so that's there. And now I'm going to put this, just make sure, I think I want it here. Let me just play with it a little bit. I think I want those down this that one down a little bit so it will go for me. Yeah, that's and then I for my bows, I usually use our um glue dots or mini glue dots. And a lot of times I'll put it right on and it pulled right off there, but a lot of times I'll use two of them just to make sure I've really got it on there well and that it will hopefully will stick really well for me. And sometimes it helps. Sometimes I put one under this if it doesn't stay where I want it. But for right, I think that's going to be okay. All right. And all right. Now, before I do any, before I finish doing any more embellishment on the front, I want to do this, and so I can show you how. I think I'm not going to put a, another sentiment in there right now. I just need, where's the, I dropped it. Let me just see. I'm just going to, and right now I'm not going to, it could end up being a thank you. It could just be, you know, so very happy for you. It could even just be happy birthday. It could be, um, thanks for being my friend. Thank you. You know, it could be almost anything. So I'm going to wait until I send that out um, and know exactly who I'm sending it to and why I'm sending it to them. All right, so bring back my stamp and pierce mat. Now, here's, and I'm gonna do it in black. All right, now this is the side. And I'm gonna tip it just a, not a lot, just a little bit. Okay. So that's how you do, you know, how you do um, the stem. Now, here is 
this is the second um the second layer that to fill in to fill in the flowers and there's my right here see this little that little one right there that goes there so i usually it doesn't even kind of yet but i usually use that and kind of then move this around and just like because it's supposed to be like a watercolor it doesn't exactly um do the color the, do um it doesn't do every area of it there'll be some spots that it misses and i just thought of something i want to i should have done this before i just want to see how dark that is second generation all right yes let me try it one more time once oh i'm gonna try it again i didn't do a very good job once twice I guess I'll do it the just the first generation. I guess that's you know it'll be better up here than down there, but I just so it might look a little different. Okay, there, kind of there. Okay, so it is a little darker maybe than the front. The other thing I thought I might do on this one is we have these little speckles that come in with it. I think because this has some mint macaron on it because I didn't bring that over. Hold on. Okay. But I thought, let me just see here. Yeah, I think I'm going to just to give it a little extra whatever. That, I think I'm going to do another one right there. So just a little extra. Actually, I think I kind of think I would like some out that way. Almost like some pine. Yeah, I'm going to stop. I think I like that. Okay. Let that dry for a second or two. Bring this back in. So I can put some tape runner on here so but you can use the adhesive you like whether it's tape runner if it's um i could have also used the um liquid glue again okay there so that's all set for when i now i wanted to use these little gems I can get a hold of it here. Let me see. And there is one. I put one right there. And then the other one. I think I'm going to put right there. There. And I maybe will put a little glue dot down just to hold that this way a little more because I don't like how it looks. Keeps wanting to go over there, and I want it this way just a little more. So I'm just gonna put it right on the back there. Whoops, as I pulled it wrong the wrong way. <laughs> now watch, it won't cooperate probably a different way now. Just want it down just a little. There. Maybe more like that. Let me just play with it here a second. There. Oh, maybe, maybe not. Did that move? It moved from where I wanted it. There. Okay. And I think there's my scissors. I think I'm gonna trim this just a little bit, not much. There. Maybe this side just a little bit too. There, kind of thinking to myself here, so I'm not talking <laughs> as loudly as maybe I should. So there, there's that. Okay, so 
been about half an hour, so I do want to finish up here. And um, just kind of show you the cards that I featured on this um, YouTube. All right, so there you have it. And um, appreciate any comments, as I said before, and thumbs up if you like it, and please subscribe. Okay, so I will be back again. Um, I believe I'll be, yes, I should be able to be back again next Wednesday at 7.30 with another, um, another project to share with you. All right, so until then, happy stamping. Bye-bye.